And Gordon, you know, they were supposed to be heading home as a matter of fact right now, but instead both chambers still working. We know for a fact that the House Republican Conference will meet tomorrow to talk about that border crisis because they didn't get it all done today. And both sides really realizing that all the finger pointing uh, kind of turned out to be more of a, a hurdle than anything else. And as a result, has canceled that exodus out of town. They're going to have to stay here and stay at it. In the mad dash to legislate, Congress will go to overtime. The House, after stalling badly on a bill to approve more money for the border crisis, is putting its August recess on hold, at least for a day. No more Outside the White House today, police arrested and hauled off demonstrators demanding funding. Listen to the people. 70% of the people want, for example, the children to stay here. Uh, the majority of the people want immigration reform. House Republicans considering a 600 $159 million plan, $2 billion short of the Democrats' desires, who call it lack of seriousness about legislating. Instead, we're wasting taxpayers' money giving a blank check uh, for a lawsuit that is a road to impeachment. Immigration on hold, but reforming Veterans' Affairs looks like it'll pass, as well as panic over depletion of the Highway Trust Fund. It's time to take action now and to stop duct taping our transportation. Our roads are in horrible conditions. Our bridges are in horrible conditions. Some might argue Congress isn't in such great shape either. Listen, there are 352 bills passed by the House sitting in the United States Senate. Go take your complaint to Harry Reid. President Obama today on cooperation. I'll go to them. I'll, you know, wash the car, <laughs> walk their dog. I mean, I, I, I'm, re I'm, ready to, I'm ready to work. All right, so you've got $200 million in support for Israel's defense systems in its war against Palestinians and Hamas. That's still on the docket tonight, uh, as well as $600 million for fighting the wildfires out west. So they are going to work well into the night, but at least on the House side, they are canceling those flights tonight, and it looks like they'll be back tomorrow due to that impasse on immigration. Gordon. Scott Tillman reporting.